Ready? Yay! Hi, I'm Xiao Wei. Welcome to my episode 2. I'm Xiao Wei's Q&A. Okay, so in the previous video, um, I did my first Q&A and then you guys left a lot of comments, a lot of questions under the comments. And then today I'm going to answer, I'm going to reply all the questions. Okay, let's do this. Honestly, I rarely share my personal stuff because I thought no one would be interested in it. I was actually kind of worried when I posted my very first Q&A video. But guys, thank you so much for interacting with me in the comments. I'm really touched. That's why here is the second Q&A video. My favorite food is raw salmon, raw squid and lamb. <laughs> very much your taste, right? I love to try different kinds of food but I have a very a uh, very small stomach so I could not eat much but recently I found a way which is to go to a buffet so I get to taste a small bite of everything so if you want to treat me food you know what to do my friends I love Indonesia but I haven't got a chance to visit yet last time I bought a ticket to Lake Toba in Indonesia but the, uh, the, the, the flight ended up being cancelled I wish I could go again one day I do have a boyfriend. Okay, I will invite him to join at the end of this video because he's busy now. <laughs> Hi. I have two older brothers. I'm the youngest in my family. Yay! Most of the time I listen to Chinese songs. For English songs, I love yellow from Coldplay. Yellow is a term that can mean cowardly or afraid. And this song is so soothing, calming and inspiring. Add this to your playlist and play it whenever you feel scared, tired or clueless. Okay, so I am a short video creator. I started to post content on TikTok and then Reels and then YouTube. Back then I didn't post on YouTube because I thought this platform is so hard and nobody is gonna watch my content. Until I met one of my best friends. His name is Alex. He's a very talented TikToker and dancer. He did very well on YouTube too. He gave me advice like, um, sis, you should go do your YouTube shorts too. You cannot miss out this place. So I'm like, okay, let's give it a try. And here I am. My Chinese name is Lim Xiao Wei. Lim is my surname, aka um, family name. Xiao Wei is my first name. I don't have an English name, so what I did is I tried to make my Chinese name look like an English name. So I used this name Xiao Wei, S I O W E I. Let me know if you think this looks like a legit English name and easy for non Chinese to pronounce. Okay, it's Xiao Wei. Okay, Xiao Wei, S I O W E I. This is my Discord Xiao Wei Yai server and please join me and let's chat inside, okay? It's new and I'm going to activate it like very very soon. So come and be my first batch of pioneers, okay? We are going to have fun inside. This is my TikTok account. Okay, I only let my parents know I'm creating content on TikTok after I got my first 10k followers. At that point in time, I was staying with them together in Sabah, Malaysia. All they know is, I was always locking myself in the room and making a lot of noises, bing bing bong bong bang bang bang, okay? And actually, they didn't know what I was doing. After I got my first 10k followers, I remember I sent a screenshot of my TikTok profile to the family group and then everyone started laughing like, oh, okay, then the noises in the room finally make sense. <laughs> My parents are quite supportive of what I'm doing because even until now, you know, my mom will like like all my videos and she will always leave a comment there. Okay, um, I'll get a screenshot of my mom's comment. Okay, you can try to find her in the comment. And she's my best mom and my number one supporter. So if you spot this comment somehow, somewhere, please go and say hi to her. I'm actually a super camera shy person. In normal circumstances, I shouldn't be shooting myself and posting it on social media. But two years ago, COVID hit and I got stuck at home and a man introduced me to TikTok and encouraged me to make content. 
He's my best friend, as known as my business partner, as known as my boyfriend. His name is Zheng Yi. Zheng Yi. Get to know him, guys. I am from Malaysia and I'm currently staying in Malaysia. It's a lovely country with different cultures. Anyone is Malaysian or staying in Malaysia too? Let me know in the comments. Honestly, Yai is what I will say in my real life as um, like a cheering expression. Just like people will say yay and I will say yai. <laughs> Yai is the cute way for me to cheer with my close friends, so I thought I would just use it in my videos as well. I'm currently staying in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia too. Do say hi when you meet me one day, okay? I will be really happy. Sometimes people do recognize me, but they were like so shy, so shy to talk to me. So I actually hope you guys come and say hi, for real. Okay, let me show you all. Okay. Yep. The first one is Rabina Gami. Okay, can you see? This is is it focusing? Okay. Rabina Gami. This is my favorite. Okay. And then the next one is this. Ferrero Rocher. Am I pronouncing correctly? Okay, let me know in the comment, okay? Ferrero Rocher, right? <laughs> Yeah, this is my favorite chocolate. Alright. So, actually, I'm currently doing transparent aligners. Okay, let me show you all my transparent aligners as well. Okay, this is my... Can you see? It's transparent, but I, I think you can see this. <laughs> okay, this is my transparent aligners. Normally, I will wear just all day long, but because I'm talking a lot now, so I remove this. So, because I'm wearing this transparent aligners, so I can't eat anytime I like. I have to take off the aligners, then I can chew food. Um, so, as a very, very lazy human being, I would rather just change my eating habits and l eat less, uh, uh, relatively less snacks. I recently switched my snacks to gummies, like just now, and chocolates because they don't require me to chew the food. So I can simply keep it in my mouth and swallow it. <laughs> I also love seaweed too, but I'm no longer eating seaweed because I have this sickness called thyroid. Okay, you know, Thai, T-H-Y-R-O-I-D. So if I eat seaweed, it will negatively affect my health. I love red. You can see from my videos, right? There are lots of red color, especially my Yai hoodie. I'm going to have it on sale soon, so get one for yourself, okay? Um, I love all kinds of animals except reptiles, like spiders or snakes. I'm afraid of reptiles. Like back then, I studied in Australia for a year, and Australia has many kinds of cute and furry rodents that I have never seen before. I'm from Malaysia and the geography and weather is so different. In Malaysia, we might see common pigeons, wild dogs, cats and sometimes cows. Um, but in Australia, you get to see so many different kinds of furry rodents that really, really cute. I miss that place and I don't know their names. Please tell me the, their names if you know in the comments, okay? I hope I will get the chance to go, but the ticket is so expensive, man. One day, one day I will go. My number one BFF is this guy called Zheng Yi. Do follow him on Insta. He said he's going to be active on Instagram soon, and you will probably see a lot of my pictures or my videos on his Insta too. <laughs> Okay, so if you don't know I'm living in Malaysia, this country has only one season, summer. It's usually around 29 to 33 degrees Celsius. Like today is 33, it's like so hot, so warm, oh my god. Sometimes it does get even hotter and my skin starts burning. My first time I really got to experience four season was when I was studying my masters in Australia three years ago. I love autumn. It's the first time I get to see all the trees start to change color day by day. Like from green, it became orange. 
yellow, red, um, and chocolate. It's so beautiful and the weather is just right, okay, cozy, breezy, peace and I get to wear so many different clothes that I wouldn't have the chance to wear in Malaysia like boots, coats and all those stuff you know <laughs> but I don't like winter though it's so cold and dry it's like so hard for me to wake up and get up from my bed and it's so hard for me to turn on the tap and touch the water in the morning I love lekor, roti canai and prawn noodles so if you are coming to Malaysia one day, remember to try it. I love durian but it's so expensive and it's so heaty. So you know because it's yummy, so once I eat, I will eat a lot but it's very heaty so once I eat, I will often get sick after it but okay, worth it. <laughs> I have already mentioned my favorite food earlier and my favorite drink in Malaysia is three layer tea. It's basically milk tea but uh, it's made with brew black tea plus evaporated milk plus gula melaka syrup. It's very yummy but um, you don't find it in every restaurant but it's something that's common in Malaysia too. So if you happen to come to Malaysia, try your best to find it and give it a try. Um, can I choose both? Both sound good. But can I be more greedy? I love to go to amusement park, but I hope I don't need to queue at the amusement park for a very long time. I've been to Disneyland and I love it so much. Instead of beaches, um, I would say I love islands. I love to just lie down and relax at the windy shores, but I hope I will not get tan afterward because my skin condition is not so good. My hometown which is Sabah located in East Malaysia has all these beautiful islands and lots of tourists enjoy going there. So please go, okay? Those islands are like so beautiful like Mata King, Sipadan, Kapalai, Pompom -Pom Island and so on. They are very very beautiful, trust me. I studied at Australian National University. It is located in Canberra, the capital of Australia. It depends. We use CapCut, After Effects and Premiere Pro to edit my videos. I used to edit my own videos and sometimes my boyfriend will help me in the difficult ones. And now we have a team to help me in the video production already. Whew, thank you. And yeah, you? who is the one editing this video. Thank you, you're the best. I can't watch horror or thrills movie. My heart is too weak and I cannot take it. I will choose funny movies. <laughs> My favorite cartoon is Chibi Maruko. Do you know Chibi Maruko? Chibi Maruko plus breakfast or either lunch or my dinner plus my phone game is the best combination set in the world in the universe of course i'm planning to i'll probably make a video if i go one day and maybe next year <laughs> i have a few friends from malaysia who are staying there right now Kababaye. Apa kabar means how are you in Malay? Kababaye means I'm good. Of course, it's the how to tutorial series. Please don't take it seriously, okay? It's just for fun. But other than that, most of my content ideas are actually real and come from mine or my team's real life incidents. Um, but of course, we will amplify it and make it more suitable as a short video. So whenever we are discussing the contents, we will be like, Hey, serious? Did you do that when you were young? Or like, oh my god, this is also me when I was young. <laughs> okay, so that's it for today. If you have any other questions for me, write it down in the comments and I will answer it in the next video. Thank you for watching until the end and let me share my favorite thing in life. Hi! Look at this, my Chibi Maruko merchandise. The shirt. I even have the bag, you see? And then look at this. I have all the masks, you see? <laughs> this is Chibi Maruko, you see? And her classmates. 
and this is Chibi Marco with her family. <laughs> My another favorite thing in life. Yay! Yay! Bye bye.